Good afternoon, it's May 1st, 12.50 in the afternoon. Um, I had somebody text me a little while ago. I feel this is very vital because they hated this picture so much. I had to make sure that they get another look. Here's that little angel blowing that trumpet. He seemed to don't think it don't mean much. There's a lot of people out there though, that are commenting that they like to see it. There's that clock. It means you're running out of time, devil. There's that white horse. And you know that thing's going to come trampling right over you. Like you didn't even exist in the beginning. There's the bathtub. That's for all those that love the Lord. The importance that we keep clean. Keep that dirty devil off of us. That's what that means. To keep that dirty devil off of us. Wash away those sins. That's what Jesus did. He, he did a lot for us, man. He gave us the ability to wash away those sins. Thank God. You know? But there's that little angel again. All you little devils out there that hate to see that. Okay? Oh. And you don't like to hear this either. I was born my mother's fifth child. On May 23rd. May's the fifth month. Two plus three equals five. Oh, and I'm 55 years old. And this month just happens to be my birthday, which is the number of grace. And I've been trying to tell people that we're getting ready to depart very soon for the heavens. And when we leave, that number five, it's going with us. I didn't say with me. I said with us. And that little dirty devil, well... He doesn't like that. Neither does the little demonic demons. But this is just for that little dirty devil out there that don't like to see this. I like to make sure you get a real good look at it. See there? Huh? How do you like it? Pretty good, ain't it? Blowing that trumpet real loud. See, you make me want to show it so much more. Kind of like when I had all those people trying to bribe me, saying, Mark, if you talk less about it, we'll give you more money. We'll turn your life around. You know what I decided to do, don't you? Can you hear it? Huh? And blowing that trumpet. That's right. That's what I decided to do. I decided to blow that trumpet. See, that's why the Lord chose me. And that's not numerology, what you were saying on your little post there. It's just a fact. I'm my mother's fifth child. How's that got to do with numerology? Only a witch would think of something like that. And Jesus is the one that made this. So therefore, you have no power over me. And I'm saying you've got no power over anybody that can see that photo and they have the love of Christ in their heart. You see, I'm here to spoil your day. The Lord sent me here. I guarantee you that. That's why that trumpet's blown over my head. By the, all the power that the Lord... He said you're going to see wonderful things. You're going to see more signs and things that are going to be happening that's never been seen before. That are about to happen. Now, you guys out there that's hearing this, I have a lot of the enemies around me. You know, even last night, um, when I woke up at about 1, 1.30, um, I had this one guy call me, and he got a bunch of people from around the nation on the phone. You know, one person I kind of knew, the rest I didn't. And uh, I noticed that he said, you know, his daughter was getting angry. We called for a conference to, you know, to encourage her that she had power over this devil. Okay. I'm not one of those lay hands on people. I'm one that encourages. Just like I tell people to read their Bible. You know, don't listen to these ear ticklers. Um, there are people out there that do a study Bible with you on here. That's a very good thing, you know, because he's always um, seeking God's will. I can, I can see that, you know. And uh, anytime somebody's studying and seeking God's will, that's what we should always be doing. And instead of having somebody tickle your ear. Um, I have a lot of people around me trying to deceive and trip things up. 
Number one, they always ask you to pray for more time. I'm praying for the Lord's return to come get us out of here because the devil wants more time. I'm not ignorant. So you see, I'm one of those people that the Bible speaks about. You're not going to deceive me. Um, when you're talking about having a potluck in a few months, a potluck, um, that's more signs from the devil. Because number one, I don't believe in luck. I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe in what he did on the cross. And when you're making your future plans here on this earth with worldly things, well, things are wicked, things are happening around us, that leaves me with reservations about you. Um, if you're not seeking the Lord Jesus Christ's return right now, um, I have reservations with you. And I know that this time is up. All day today, I've had nothing but evil and demonic looks at me today um, that I've never seen before. And uh, I know that this is up. It's over. We're getting ready to leave. I'm here to encourage everybody this too. And when we see this big event take place, which is getting ready to happen here in America, um, it's going to be powerful. But you got to remember the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. When he said those words in a moment, in the twinkling of the eye, um, that we will be changed, um, you'd be surprised what else we can do in that moment. He can, he can make time where, in that moment, where we could actually do a lot, where it might feel like... Uh, a week's time went by for us. We had a week to do something. You know what I mean? In that moment. You know, what might seem like a moment to them. Our creator is powerful. Very powerful. You got to remember this. One day to the Lord is like a thousand years to us. You know, that's something people seem to forget all the time. A thousand years to us. One day. So can you imagine... If he's got something he wants us to go out there and do, while everybody's sitting there going through an event in their in a, in that moment, we could be out there doing his will, where he said he's going to send his servants to go out, get the good and the bad, and uh, the bad are going to need to repent, and you know the good they may still be having a hard time letting go of this. And we got to help pry their fingers loose, you know, because this place is about to die. That's why I'm always saying, you know, walk away from this now because it's going to be over here, you know. And I, I find it hard sometimes to believe that people are having such a hard time letting this go. But if you spent your lifetime trying to make it, you know, I imagine it could be hard to let go. And, uh, you know, the Lord might still have favor on you. That's the reason why, you know, he said to go get the good and the bad. That's what it says in Matthew 22. These aren't my words, but the words of the Lord on the wedding. And he said to go get the good and the bad. So in other words, he doesn't want you to be foolish and left behind. Because some people are probably going to be the foolish still. And the good are going to be probably the wise the ones that were wise enough to let go and listen to us at that crucial moment. Um, you know, that's me trying to decipher what he said to go get the good and the bad. Um, I don't like to add words to this, and, and I don't like to take away, just like those Ten Commandments. It's very vital that we don't take nothing away because Jesus said he honors his Father in heaven. And when people take the... Uh, even want to debate the words of God's laws here, um, you're risking your eternal soul. I would highly recommend that you didn't do that. Um, <clears throat> how about this, man? I got to ask you this. How many of you guys out there are still feeling real tired? 
I mean, I got a lot of naps last night. Took a lot of. I mean, I woke up a lot, but uh, even today, man, I just took another nap a little while ago, and I just feel like totally drained, you know. But I mean, I'm not that tired to where these demons got any power over me because they don't, you know. When they come up against me now, nah, man, I got the Lord, man. The Lord's empowered me. Uh, these demons are trembling around me now because they know I'm out here with the Lord. Uh, with me now. They have no power whatsoever around me. And that's what I've been trying to make sure you guys understand that as well. You have a lot of power over these things. Um, they're, remember what they said, they're Masons. They like to go by that. I'm a Masonary 32nd, 32nd, like that's a high level. And the highest you can go is 33. The reason why that's the highest they can go is because that's the age Jesus was when they murdered him, when they killed him, when they had him brutally whipped, okay? Now, you see that angel blowing that trumpet above me? I'm 55, okay? So if I'm 55, I got a lot more power over them than they can even fathom. They don't want to mess with me. And uh, I'm here to tell you this as well. All you that have the love of Christ in you, these demons ain't got nothing on you. Nothing. Um, I'm even feeling tired too. Um, but the Bible said that we would be. He goes, I have a door open that nobody can shut. For I know you have little strength left. And uh, that's just another sign that we're ready to go. Um, so just get ready to go. You know, if somebody's calling you up, trying to, because remember now, he said he's like a, He's going to be there trying to trip you up at the last minute. Like somebody calling me at, at 2 o'clock in the morning. You know, wanting me to pray about having a potluck dinner uh, towards the end of the year and stuff like that. And I, why did I get upset about it? I just came right out and said, you know what? I don't believe in luck. And I know that these are the end times. I'm looking for my Lord Jesus Christ to come now. I'm not looking forward to no lunch, especially a potluck lunch at the uh, um, August or whatever. You know? And I noticed even after people were sharing, trying to encourage, that there was anger being used, saying, I feel angry. You know? I listen to things, and I listen to everything in great detail. I notice things, and... Uh, just be careful. And uh, this message, Mary, you know who you are. We were, we were pulled into a conversation that I feel very much was uh, not of the Lord. And remember how the devil will try to trick you, trip you, and deceive you. And uh, we have to be seeking wholeheartedly for the Lord's return now. That's what needs to be in our prayers because of what's happening to our children now, okay? They want, the devil wants more time. You can be sure of that. He wants more time. I'm here also to encourage, but I'm also here to let the devil know, what would this photo tell the devil? This photo would tell the devil he's out of time. So when people are trying to ask me to pray for more time, what would that tell you? It's the devil wanting more time. So what do we do? We pray for the Lord to come now. Oh Lord, please come now. You know? That's what we pray for. So I wanted to show this again, especially for that one that said that they don't like it. You know? And that person with their little view of their face, they got their face showing, half of their face showing. So you only see one eye. You know? Devil's slick. You know? You ever see people where they take their hair covering up one eye? God didn't give us two eyes to keep one covered, did he? You see what I'm saying? I notice everything you people are doing. Everything. They got their one eye showing and they got it like they got curly hair. They got sixes all in their hairs. Don't be deceived, people. Devil's out there, and they're slicker than snot. But they're not that slick. The time is up. I'm here to tell you, devil, your time is up. 
You know, Jesus Christ is much more powerful than you. You've only been here for a number of days. It only feels like you've been here for thousands of years. But you've really only been here for days. You see the power of my Lord? He's got a lot of power. A lot of people have come and gone in that time. But uh, you haven't been here as long as you think you've been here. You know? So, can you imagine? If, he, if, if the Lord can make you feel like you've been here as long as you think you've been here, um, just think what eternity in hell is going to be. You know? Food for thought. Powerful is our Lord Jesus Christ. Boy, I pray that he comes soon. Very soon. God bless you. Be with the Holy Spirit.